<laughs> Nothing says racial harmony like Kenny feeding himself. That's I, I was, really good work. Whoops. Uh, and if you take our Black History Month uh, promo seriously, you're an idiot. Of course, they're tongue in cheek. Now, listen. We try to bring some truth with some, you know, fun. The best is when he says, remember the Titans is the only movie they'd show at my school. <laughs> All right. We are hijacking everything we had planned. I'm going to sell you on something. People, all I ask is... Sell me this pen. Sell me this pen. Um, I'm not going to make fun of the Gio Urshela thing. Maybe that's my Yankee bias coming out, but Gino? I actually think he's a good... He's a decent ball player. Who, Gino? Uh, Gino, <laughs> as, as Update Jesus called him. No, Gio Urshela... First of all, he can hit left-handers. You find anybody who can hit some lefties and kill them... That's a good thing to have. He doesn't have to start every day, and he'll be a part of this third base Frankenstein. And I'm not going to make fun of it, just like I didn't make fun of Maeda. What I'm also not going to do is pen a thousand-word piece about how committed to winning Chris Illich is. So let, let's just work with me. It's clear they listen down there. I make fun of their tube TVs. They get rid of them. I talk about how the ballpark and the scoreboard got to get upgraded. They upgraded. Bitched about the dimensions. They moved fences. Rico, yesterday I You're said you don't, have a th you, you don't have a third baseman. They went out and got a third baseman. So we're going to test this one more time. Sell the team? Oh, no, no, that clearly doesn't work. I can't overcome the, 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 the tax consequences of that. But there's one thing left to do, and you will win the AL Central. And before people freak out and think I'm just a star bleeper, I'm going to present evidence that suggests I'm not crazy. The player is a veteran leader, well-liked player. The player is still producing. The player is absolutely a DH at this stage of his career. And the player would not require more than a two-year deal. You are 55 million below league average. The player I am asking you to go and get that will win you this division would at a maximum still leave you 35 million below league average. Okay. The player I'm about to name. What's the downside? The, uh, I don't have one. The player I'm about to name four of the last five years have been, for your offense, elite. Let me give you some numbers, okay? By the numbers. Let me give you these numbers. 939, 867, 790, 893. Those are the OPS of this player. The on-base and slugging. This is a guy that is a baseline. Baseline will produce 65 extra base hits between home runs, Doubles, triples, the whole bit. Minimum, 65. Which is good, because Comerica Park. Shout Here's out the... Dimensions. Yeah. Um, Rico, the move they need to make is to go out right now and offer a two-year, $40 million contract to J.D. Martinez. Before you call up and cry that I'm blocking Kerry Carpenter, why don't you go look at Kerry Carpenter's last two and a half months last year? Second of all, there's no saying I need to play J.D. every single day. But if I give him one day off a week, if I get Carpenter once in the outfit, I'll find the at-bats. So basically pay J.D. about 120 games. 120, 130. The point I'm making is I could take the pressure off of Kerry Carpenter. Here's what else happens. Injuries. They always happen. With J.D., he's going to give you at least, here are the games played for J.D. the last five years. 146, 54, the injury year. 148, 139, 113. Guys, this isn't just a name or, well, we recognize him, or he kind of looks like Kenny's older brother. This is exactly what the team needs. The better part of 30 home runs, veteran presence, reliability, and it's a DH spot that, no disrespect, I'm not displacing David Ortiz in his prime. I'm displacing Kerry Carpenter. I, I, I want you to argue me on this. 
Guys, they can win the Central. No, because you're looking at his one bad year was the COVID year. So, yeah. And baseball's a hard sport to be consistent, right? It's difficult. This guy is a model of consistency. He's made for this ballpark. Get you the extra base hits. And if he says no or says he wants a third year or somehow, even though he was on a one-year $10 million deal last year, if any of these parameters aren't good enough for him, here is Scott Harris's response. Because Now, I, I like the idea. I would have probably lowballed a little bit and said two-year, $30 million. Let's see where that goes. If we have to bump it up to $40 million, he'll feel like he won, but I was willing to pay that anyway. Because here's what I, Rico, that's my whole point. I didn't want to quibble with people. Look, I don't even know if people in this town are awake. I think the Lions have gutted them. <laughs> I think they're nude in the fetal position. Uh, it's, it's like true detective. They're, they're seeing ghosts out here. I just, Gio Urshela is going to hit left-handed pitching. and He'll moonlight at third. He can play a bunch of positions. I, didn't, I don't make fun of it. I don't make fun of my Ada. You can keep Flaherty. My point is, if you really want to get better, and there's whispers of landing spots for J.D. Do you know one of them? Mm-hmm. Cleveland. You don't want him in this division. Now, look, if you wanted me to guarantee that you win this division, I would have to do sports radio unrealistic hyperbole. I would be telling you to go get Martinez and Bauer. Not going to do that. I'm asking for Martinez. you can do that. But you could. You can do that, and that's not going to break the bank. Martinez would cost you more money. Bauer, prove a deal. That he's willing to pay, play for. Yeah. He wants that Incentive-driven deal. deal. Yeah. Look, I, I just, guys, I'll throw the number out. We're going to get to football. We'll have football every hour. We're going to get to, I think, what is some interesting smoke about Notre Dame. <laughs> and Rico's playoff expansion, which is re-expanding, I don't know, 24 hours later. Because and we can't be contained. No. and we in the, We're in, on fire. In the 3 o'clock, LGRW, as Kenny goes full quad flag, we're going to talk about it. You haven't been awake for the Red Wings? Don't worry. Kenny's going to give you the five most important things you need to know as we start what I'm calling Day Zero. This is... The first day of the rest of our lives, a.k.a. the playoff drive. We have a loaded show, but I am, I'm not going to beg, but I am going to ask you nicely. Your baseball team's got some, <laughs> some, some juice. Tell me where I'm wrong here. Pick up the phone and call J.D. Martinez, 2 at 40, 2 at 35, 2 at 37 and a half. I don't even want to quibble. Is this because Carpenter let you down last year? No. We were betting. So now. No. Is, is I like Kerry. Okay. No. My point is, <laughs> in a serious manner, here would be my argument to anyone who wants to criticize this. There is a difference between being happy to have a guy on the team and depending on that guy. If I'm trying to win 90 baseball games. Then you need a J.D. Martinez. I, I need proof. Now, Kerry Carpenter, I'm going to find at bats for because here's what's going to happen. Riley Green's going to pull a groin. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you, you'll have somebody else fall down the stairs or slip on a sunflower seed. Somebody's on bereavement. Someone's on I had a baby trip. Or You find at bats. Mm-hmm. I'll worry about it later. I, I just, for me, this is a no-brainer. All right. I bitched about not having a third baseman. They actually went and got a pl- This is a money ball thing. This is Scotty Harris playing money ball. He's Brad Pitt. They're the same person. I got Dombrowski on line three. But now I, yeah. th- th- that's what that move is. But yeah, JD Martinez could be had. I think that would work, especially in this ballpark. He would get to the extra base hits, he would get the home runs. He may strike out, but you know what? It's feast or famine. You wanted him. the rub on all of this. There it is. Last year, he had his highest strikeout rate of his career at about 30%. But I'm looking at the and long you know what? haul. But here's the thing. Here's how low the bar is for strikeouts in this town. So long as the ball was somewhere in the strike zone and you missed it, I'm okay with that kind of strikeout. This is a team that barely has players with a 700 OPS. This guy's coming in over a five-year sample size between 850 and 900. Argue it. Support it. Argue it. Do whatever you want. Give me one good reason Scotty Harris doesn't make that phone call. 
Now, him saying, I don't want to, I don't accept it. I don't have to. If if Chris said the money's there, but Harris doesn't want to, he's wrong. If Harris wanted to, but the money isn't there, Chris would be wrong. There's only one acceptable thing in my world. Pick up the phone and, and, and make the call and go win the AL Central. J.D. Martinez is a stabilizing force in the middle of this order to continue Torkelson and Green's growth. Mm -hmm. Think about having to negotiate. Do this. During the timeout, (laughs) I want you to just do this. Go to the Google, as the kids say. Uh... Type in Tiger's projected lineup. And I want you to look at what it looks like now and then tell me what it looks like with J.D. Martinez in the middle of it. It is a seismic difference. I I want people, whether you love it or hate it, I want to talk about it. Do me a kindness. Give me two segments of baseball. 248-539-9797. We'll get ticket text in the mix. Get your calls. We got a playoff push to go on. We're bringing Notre Dame to the Big Ten. We got football. Mm. Got you covered till six. This would be nice. Ah, see? Look at what Rico's looking at. 